Randolph is a popular UK YouTuber with over 1 million subscribers, but you would never assume this wannabe rapper turned YouTuber would have a multi-million dollar company that has nothing to do with YouTube or rapping, would you? Well, let's dive into the life of this interesting man. The Rise Randolph, government name, Andrew John Shane was born in 1994. He started doing YouTube back in 2010. He started his YouTube channel doing videos on video games and music. Randolph has made videos with many people, for collaboration is a popular tactic for him to not only grow his channel, but also to grow his network with a lot of people in the YouTube space, especially in the spaces that he loves being in. Namely, video games, music, and Pokemon. He had made videos with Assignment, KSI, and Logan Paul among others. His rapping career hadn't taken off before YouTube, but with his YouTube success, his rapping career has gotten more prominent. Randolph has released songs such as Red Alert, that's in Watch Dogs, Legion, and even a collaboration album with JJ called New Age. That album got him an extensive tour around the world, and it made him a pretty penny too. His most notorious song is a diss track against Deji called Manchild, that beef started when an assignment video Randolph said Deji's channel was dead. Well, Deji the person behind that channel wasn't dead. Deji made a video insulting Randolph for being KSI's sidekick, even after KSI criticized Randolph's wife. That's when Randolph made the aforementioned diss track saying that Deji should learn to not be emotional. Deji responded with his counter song, Ran, but that song was controversial because in the song he alleged that Randolph didn't even pay for his own wedding. After all, it was JJ who paid for it, but to prove his case he actually leaked JJ's bank details. Obviously, JJ wasn't happy about that. Actually, it would be him and JJ beefing when this was all said and done. For after Randolph released Victory Speech, where he dissed Deji and another rapper named Crypt as well, Randolph decided to end his involvement, saying the beef got out of hand. Outside of music, he's done other things such as having a podcast with Minimenter called What's Good Podcast. But the thing that he is famously known for is his videos on Pokemon. And we're not talking about Pokemon the TV show or the video game, though he did play a few of the Pokemon video games on his channel. No, we're talking about the TCG card game of the popular TV series. By 2019, Randolph focused more on video games and Pokemon. He made videos talking about Pokemon cards he collected since he was a child and still collects to this day. Randolph soon got bigger and more prominent in the Pokemon TCG card trading community mostly as a collector, not a player, but he was a go-to expert for many collectors and players either way. And you have to remember this was around the time when Pokemon cards became highly prized on the trading market, especially the rare trading cards. So many of these Pokemon trading cards were being sold for thousands if not tens of thousands of dollars, and Randolph grew along with many other Pokemon TCG trading card YouTubers within this era of the trading card game. He made videos about the Pokemon cards he would buy and would grade at other card graders. These videos did well and got him a lot of people from the Pokemon TCG trading card community. Ace Grading The height of card trading has led to many people getting their cards appraised or graded to ascertain the value of their cards whether for sale or personal appreciation. So the big three companies, Professional Sports Authenticator PSA, Beckett, and CGC have become backlogged with cards, and this has opened up the space for new grading companies to take over. Randolph saw an opportunity. After building a great rapport with the Pokemon collector and gaming community, Randolph started the Ace Grading Company. The goal is to not only authenticate the cards of fellow YouTubers within the Pokemon TCG trading card game community that he is a big member of, but also to create a service that can help his fans and subscribers that currently watch the channel. It operates out of the UK, but can facilitate the US and EU. It grades the cards to make sure people get proper accuracy of what is the value of their cards. These cards are even sent back in a modern and presentable casing that helps people who collect cards or need them to be sold without getting scammed and as such need a second opinion. Each card is sent back with security details that verify it through their website and there is a security label that guarantees the authenticity of the card. The card trading verifying service looks good on the surface 
and is greatly touted by Randolph, but one thing about his great reveal of this company is that he announced that he would not be running the company. Randolph said that at heart he knows who he is and who he is, is a YouTuber rapper, but he recognized he is not an operating executive and he has no experience in business to operate a company. He says that the company will have its philosophy and its spirit within its foundations. Though, this is relatively humble of him to admit. It cannot be denied that because he's not running the company, it's hard to know if he is certifying the quality of the workforce under him, or at least using his name. As a YouTuber named Clearway Collectives would indicate, the work being performed at Ace Grading isn't as high quality as Randolph thinks. Clearway Collectives accused Ace Grading of being late and sending the cards in badly damaged slabs, either they are cracked or scratched. He also said the grading wasn't accurate. Others have complained of similar problems with Ace Grading. So it seems that like any young company that anyone has started Randolph has struggled to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big three in card grading. Now this is not odd after all it was going to be a tough competition he was going to face up against especially with their higher pricing compared to his lower pricing. The quality wasn't obviously going to be on that level. But the more customers go through the same thing and voice their concerns, the worse the reputation of the company becomes. It wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility to assume that Ace Grading is not really his company, but a company that's using the name of a famous trusted YouTuber to promote itself to his audience and to get a foothold within that space without too much marketing cost, and naturally Randolph gets a cut. Randolph has achieved a lot and should consider dealing with the particular problems of this company if he cares about his reputation because the TCG trading card space is known for scamming and scammers usually get ostracized by that community relatively very quickly. So he should tread lightly and be very careful that his name is going to be associated with this company since the company is having these problems. Either that or take a hands-on approach to what's going on there. You have to remember that Ace Grading Company is only filling a niche because the big three in card grading had a huge backlog before the pandemic. Once the pandemic is over that backlog will disappear and the value placed on most of Ace Grading Company's cards will become nothing. Getting that reputation from now is important for when that backlog ends and he wants people to seek him out as a trusted reliable person to do business with otherwise they're just going to choose everybody else over him. But when it comes to YouTube analysis, there is only one tool worth choosing vidIQ. vidIQ is a tool that can help you become a better YouTube content creator with its algorithm monitoring tools. Their tools and resources can give you insight and data on your YouTube channel's performance and allows you to make an informed decision on where your channel can improve. You can get the best keywords and help with topics you want to go through their tools or academy. With four plans, there are many options to choose from, so you can get the one that works best for you. So if you want to take the next step in this YouTube content game, please click the link in the description box and try out the basic plan for free. Now let's get back to the video. Randolph is currently 28 years old, so he has achieved a lot at such a young age. He is a successful YouTube channel who has grown his subscriber and fan base to millions is a reputable member of the Pokemon TD trading card game community and started a multi-million dollar card grading company. Randolph has achieved much success and should be proud of that, so he shouldn't let other people destroy it. Currently, right now, he lives in Nottingham, England, the home of his favorite football team. Please note it's the real football, not the tackling one, so that's Nottingham Forest. He lives with his wife Laura and their daughter Harper. So good for him. So what do you think of Randolph? Did you enjoy the video? Comment down below. Also subscribe don't forget to like and hit that notification bell because we're always putting out new videos on the come up.